we haven't constructed quantum chips big enough. So depending on the paper that you read, the one I cite is the one from Microsoft that says you need about 4,000 qubits to break RSA encryption and about 2,500 to break elliptic curve encryption. However, when you look carefully at the paper, these are perfect qubits and perfect qubits just don't exist. Quantum states are really fragile. And because these quantum states are really fragile, we have to do quantum error correction on them. Your classical computer, your normal laptop does classical error correction and it's a bit simpler because we can just copy the bits over. We can't do that with quantum bits because they're protected by what's called the no cloning theorem and you can't exactly copy quantum states. So you can't do the same thing as we do for classical computers. So when we have to try and correct these errors, we need a lot more qubits to support that error correction. On top of that, Shor's algorithm is actually a very deep algorithm. And when I say deep here, I mean that the algorithm has a lot of steps in a row. 